I'm Dr. Abir Washington, and I'm the owner and medical director of the Rice Clinic, a Christian-based clinic here in Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, children and adolescents can develop PTSD-like symptoms or other mental illnesses as a result of COVID, uh, the pandemic. Children are not as resilient, their cognitive reserve and their ability to pivot with change is a little more um, impaired or is not well developed as adults. So they can be more susceptible to mental illness than adults. It can come across in many different ways. And I think that depends on the child and the severity of the trauma. It can be, oftentimes we see in children, they will act out, misbehave, yell and scream, maybe get involved in mischief, um, using drugs possibly. Sometimes we find more significant symptoms like depression, isolation, anxiety, withdrawing to their room. Uh, occasionally we can have full blown PTSD symptoms, especially if the child has developed or has experienced a severe trauma. So it can be, um, hypervigilance, maybe nightmares or flashbacks of trauma. The one thing we have to really be aware of and look out for are suicidal thoughts. There's a greater trend toward suicidal thoughts at this time, maybe not full um, instances or completed suicide, but there has been a rise in the number of children who are acting out in a suicidal manner. So that's really concerning. I think, first of all, we have to be careful um, in taking care of ourselves as adults. Any experience that we have as an adult is going to trickle down to our children. So be aware of that, taking care of your own mental health, because your children will feel it in some way, shape, form or fashion. It's also important to interact and engage. Don't be absent. Create a structured environment for children. Children crave structure. They crave organization, even if they tell you otherwise. Be engaging. The younger the child, the more important it is to engage with, with your child. Create a positive environment, a rewarding environment, a stimulating environment and just give them a sense that everything is going to be okay. Make them feel supported and reassured that we will come out in the end. In Jesus' name, we will be just fine. Yeah, so I think this is a really important question. Uh, during this time, there's a lot of uncertainty and uncertainty breeds fear. And that's the underlying emotion. It's a really complicated emotion. And I think it drives a lot of the problems that we're seeing the today in, in, a, in the form that comes out in mental illness. So it's really important to combat that with faith, turning to your word, really, um, really filling yourself up with the word of God and recognizing that there are biblical characters or biblical figures in the past who have overcome almost near impossible situations. And so when you read about those figures and see how they have overcome, you can recognize, you know, God was present with them. He can be present with me. So I tell my patients to wake up, read your word, fill yourself with the spirit of God, keep that reassurance, that faith present throughout your day so that anything the devil throws at you, you can combat that with faith. Keep the word of God in your heart and in your mind and in your spirit at all times. Well, I want everyone to know that we are here to help at the Rice Clinic. We're a Christian-based clinic. We provide medication management and individual psychotherapy for those in need. I want Christians to know that just because you seek help, that does not mean that you don't have faith. In order to get complete healing, there's the biopsychosocial. So we don't want to ignore the biological factors. We don't want to ignore social factors. And we just want you to recognize that we are here for you. And just because you're seeking help does not mean you're not a faithful Christian. 
Always support your family in seeking help. And if you have any or see any signs of suicidal, suicidal thoughts or depression or anxiety in your children, get them help as soon as possible and also take care of yourself.